All right, everybody. Welcome back. And once again, we have a God in the building. Once again, we got an individual that is blessing us with his presence. Sure. I want to start off by letting you know I appreciate you being here once again. And I look forward to this building session. So that being said, right now we have no other than oh so the God of the building. What's up, J? Peace, peace, peace. Peace, man. Just peace happiness, man. You know, just traveling and you know, maintaining and meeting new people and understanding new things, you know? Mm -hmm. For sure. Um one of the main subject matters that we're going to talk about today, y'all, we're going to get in y'all business. We're going to get a little bit in your business. We ain't talking about your financials, though. We might talk about it a little bit. But we're going to get into your business about your body. Henceforth, that was the purpose of the tank top today. I usually don't flex, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We do what? Can I do it like that? Just a little bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> no, but... Today, on a serious note, y'all, seriously, today um, we're going to actually talk about the ill health or the ill aspects or what's actually inside of your food that's killing you, the ill effects of food. That's what we're talking about today. Um, we're going to talk about different varieties of food, what we've been raised on, what we should eat, what we shouldn't eat. Now, let me say this starting off. You could take your own advice, do your own research for anything that you put inside your body. We're only giving suggestions and we're only talking about what we do as far as what we know work for us. So that being said, I'm going to turn it over to you to start it out. The ill, you know, the ill things about food. Food. Hey, hey food. Building on food, man, that's like just building, that's just its own building itself because, you know, you you put out what you put into your body. Right. And you know, y'all are not perfect. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, G, let's just get that understood, you know. Choice of your food, like I said, this thing can fall on financial matters. You know what I'm saying? Because, I you know what I'm saying, incorporating a real healthy, clean lifestyle, as far as diet goes, is 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 if it, if if you wanted to taste like something, it's gonna cost something. Right. So you feel me? It's a it's a it's a more expensive lifestyle, you know. But uh, it's still something that we need to put into our into our habit. You know, what I'm saying like right. it's an old saying go. You know, you riding in a Lambo or you riding in a Bentley or you riding in something clean that requires premium gasoline. You gonna make sure you put premium gasoline in your car. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but it goes back to saying also that, you know, we tend to treat our cars better than we treat our own bodies. Ooh, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Thank and you. that's real, you know, we, we tend to treat treat our cars, especially if we got a nice one, we tend to treat that more important than we treat our own bodies. And for real, your body is going to outlast the car if you treat it right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's, that's facts right there. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, but like, um, like seeing old people out there jogging, like you would go go to the park or whatever, you see, you know what I'm saying, an older, uh, older brother or older sister, or you know what I'm saying, white, black, it don't matter, but you see older people out there that's, you know, out there jogging, got their little music in, but that's what's up though, because that's how it's supposed to be. The older you get, you should never let that slow you down. But it all starts with the things you put in your body, you know, right. the things that we put in our body, uh, a lot of the foods that we eat, they have a, they have a uh, impact on our hormones. You know, if you do the science to the hormones, the hormones they, they, they the things that may basically make you do. They control, they control your habits. Like they control you. Yeah. And it's, you know what I'm saying? Like they control the way your body. You know what I'm saying? Your body operates. You know, and things and whatnot. Uh, now, now let's say this now. You, you said something that I like. You, you said that what we put into our body and you mix it with hormones. One of the things about food and hormones, let's take these chickens. A, a real chicken's leg is not this big, y'all. Nah. Let's, let's just get that clear. 
Nah. You know, I've I've been in the country, my family from the country. I've seen live chickens. Some of my dudes got chickens. My mama got some chickens, which is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she knew, which is crazy. Chicken legs is not that big. So if you nah. go to a grocery store and you see some chicken legs this big or some wings like this big, you know, not puffed up, nine times out of 10, they're adding hormones to that stuff, growth hormones. Mm -hmm. The reason why they're adding growth hormones is to 30 day turnaround, 60 day turnaround with these chickens growing, three months turnaround, the faster they can make these chickens grow, the faster they can slaughter them and sell them. See, when it, when, I'm gonna go a little bit deep. Back in the day, you talk about Africa, you even talking about the early days of just the farmer. They would raise their chickens with grains. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. would feed the chickens, feed that they supposed to eat to have the proper growth so that the, the, the chickens that lay the eggs how they supposed to be on time systematically. Um, you know, the chickens will grow how you would need them to grow. So you could eat them and you have some eggs, you sell some, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Once corporate America got in the chicken business, oh, it's all about profit. So it's about oh. hormones and, and what they can do. How are they making the profit? We go out and buy and then we consume it. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And we keep consuming it to a point where the things that are in it become addictive. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm segueing from chicken to beef. I remember KRS-One, I'm going to shout him out. He made a song long, 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 long time ago. And it went way over our heads, 100. He said, if you don't think you have an addiction problem, try to stop eating beef. He made a yeah. song. Yeah, if you're not familiar with that song, KRS-One, he made a song about try to stop eating beef, how they got you hooked on beef. That's real because I tried it. I don't eat beef. I might eat beef maybe once or twice a month at the most, but like mm. the totally wing off beef, that takes a lot of discipline. Hell yeah. And if you poor, you gonna get, you gotta eat how you gotta eat to survive. But how long are you gonna survive with ill health due to the hormones and the trash inside the meat and the chicken. You know what I'm saying? Hella, hella trash, G. That's like, man, like people don't understand, like when you go to the grocery stores, right? It's, you know, we all know that one type of beef, like that pink slime, you know, <laughs> the, the package. I know you're hip to the, I know, I know you're hip to the pink slime. They got the little strings and stuff. Right, you right, know <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I read up on that, G. You know, I actually read up, read up on Pink Slime. Uh -huh. And it's basically some dude put this invention together, you know what I'm saying, way back when they were slaughtering cows and stuff. Mm -hmm. He put this invention together and basically all the scrap from when they make, like, your, you know what I'm saying, they got the expensive cuts of beef, which is your Kobe beef. And right. then you got the, 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 the lower grade beef, what they call it. Then you got the Pink Slime, which is like the bottom of the barrel. Right. He basically came up with, to a fact, he came up with this invention so that basically after they done made all the, you know what I'm saying, the, whatever they gonna sell in the grocery store as far as the shit that you gonna pay some cheese for, the mm -hmm. good beef for them. Uh, basically, we gonna find a way to use up all this cow. The you know what I'm saying? All the, all the cow. The right, right, they're right. Meat, meat is money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's money. You right. feel me? Right. So, they, they like dude came up with this invention to basically take like the meat part of the bone, like some of the cartilage, some of the the, 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 the tenders that's, that that connect the meat to the bone. Mm -hmm. He came up with a way to grind all that up with, you know what I'm saying? Some of the leftover droppings of the other beef, I guess into a pan or whatever, how they do it. You know what I'm saying? I've been on Slaughterhouse, so I don't know. I just did research on it. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's what that's what pink slime is like. You feel me? Yeah. It's basically like the leftover, man. And it's crazy because you know beef. And I don't eat beef. You know what I'm saying? For y'all, that that's that's uh, wondering. I don't eat beef or pork. I just stick to fish and chicken. But like I say, like let's get this understood. Even fish and chicken, all this stuff is on the mass yeah. production. Yeah. On the yeah. mass production. Yeah. You know, what I'm yeah. Fish, chicken, beef, pork. All of it is 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 so much in a high demand. Unstable they environment, uh, yeah, bacteria yeah. field. Like, yeah, like you know, with cows, like they give it some type of hormone called BST, bi bovine 
just type in, do your own research, you know what I'm saying? Type in BST and you will see that it's this growth hormone that basically speeds up the process of the cow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I done read that, you know, they make a, they have a cow that takes, I think it takes maybe like a couple of years or whatever for a cow to be grown, right. but they speed, they give them this BST and it speeds this milk production and it speeds the growth of the cow up in like nine months. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Basically yeah. old enough to be slaughtered or it's old enough to, right. to bring forth milk. So that right. tells you right there, you know, this, you know what I'm saying? The food industry is, you know what I'm saying? They wicked out here, man. It's wicked everywhere. And the thing is this, if you know microbiology by any means, anything, anything a carnivore eats becomes part of it. You know what so. I'm saying? From a microbial type, you know, on that level. So mm -hmm. if you're eating, it's even to a point like, do the research if you don't believe me, when a cow or a pig gets slaughtered and that meat is like scared, real like jerky, that's what yeah. makes the meat tough because of the, 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 the tension of the muscles before it's slaughtered. That's why they try to have the animals relax and then slaughter them so the meat would be much better. That's like in, in the woods. If you ever heard, like I, I hang with all kind of people and I mm. hunt uh, lightly. I've hunted before with some of my Caucasian fellows and you know they the one taught me how to hunt with a bow and arrow. And he told me, um, when you're hunting, he say, that's why you got to be real quiet because when you shoot the deer, he said, you don't want it scared because if it's scared, that mess up the meat. So, sure. so yeah. you're consuming on a micro, on a microbial level fear. You're consuming mm -hmm. fear inside your body, which connects to uh, things inside of your body. And you're actually consuming that animal not just the aspects of the meat, but the micro, and I don't want to get too technical, but the way that fear affected his body is, it could affect your body as well by what you consume. And the hormones in the milk, the hormones inside, the growth hormones, that's, I'm not, don't quote me on this because I don't want nobody coming after me as far as, you know, whatever. Do not yeah. quote me on this. I've heard <laughs> that... <laughs> Right, I've heard. So you gotta clear that up. <laughs> right, doing, doing research that if you're consuming all those growth hormones, that's what allows the hormones inside of your body or the cells inside of your body to grow out of control too. It could affect your cells, and that's how cancerous cells develop because your body start trying to eat itself because the the growth of the hormone might seem like a foreign object like a disease or something in your own immune system tries to kill it so your body starts fighting itself so i don't want to get too deep and bore y'all but we just have to make better choices when it comes to what we consume it for sure you gotta, yeah you gotta make better choices like even i and you know it's a whole bunch of things out here that's you know what I'm saying we could talk about the food we could talk about other extra, you know what I'm saying, things that, you know what I'm saying, what may keep on their side as far as smoking, drinking, you know what I'm saying, popping pills, whatever the case may be. But, you know, and all in all, it's going to have its, it's going it's gonna to have its lasting effect on the body. Right, you know? right. Like, you know, but it's, it's just changing, changing, changing the way you eat basically is going to, it's gonna make you feel better inside. You know what I'm saying? You feel better inside, you're thinking clearly, you right. know what I'm saying? You gonna you gonna show that, you're gonna show that energy, man. Like you could tell when an individual is taking care of their body playing out. You know what I'm saying? And right. like, the food, you know what I'm saying, is the is the biggest part of it, you know? Right. Like food is the biggest part of it. And like I just like break it down to food just for the simple fact that, you know, it's it's, it's 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 what you need to, to to bring to keep moving to keep bringing forth like with vegetables and it's a hard thing it's a hard thing to do you know eating vegetables definitely you know especially on the young side you know moms well you better eat them you better clean that plate up 
Right. You looking right. at them vegetables like, I don't want that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want the mac, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> With a right. chicken. I'm right. cool, you skip over all that. Right. But that's where the root of the problem usually be with how we as a society, you know what I'm saying, how we seriously take our food. But we are getting better though. I can't- Yeah, 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 I, yeah, we are. I can't say that. Like, you know, you can see definitely a lot of people is shifting towards the, the cleaner way of eating. It's right. become, it's, it's, it's starting to make its popularity, but you know, that just shows that people was now waking up like, yo, you know, I could go in the grocery store and I could buy Mads Debbie's chips, you know what I'm saying, candy, all this bullshit, but what is my body getting out of it though? Right, mm. and then your kids running around 100 pounds at eight years old, you know what I'm saying? 150 at eight. Old, you know what I'm saying? And not to shame nobody, but you know, when it comes to food, a lot of this has a big play on it. You know, a lot of it has a big play. And it's up to the parents too. Like the choice, the parents is ultimately in control, whether you're poor or not. Because if you're poor, you're getting stamps. If you don't need stamps, you're buying food. You got to eat. It's right, about sure. the choices that you make. Um, regulating the refrigerator, letting the kids know the, the kitchen closed at this time. You could only have these type of snacks. They only can eat if they in the house. They only can eat what's there. So if you sure. if you provide better choices, um, then they can stick to them. Like my kids, I instead of my kids just busting eating ice cream, they got yogurt. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Different choices. They got popsicles that's vegetable based, but tastes like candy, but it's healthy. You know what I'm saying? Daddy, can we have another popsicle? Sure. I give them suckers, but the suckers is really vitamin C. You know what I'm saying? But they, yeah. you know, eating the suckers like it's candy, but they really consuming vitamin C. And yeah. they don't, my kids don't drink cow's milk. They drink almond milk, chocolate almond milk. So, right. yeah, so for me, you know, one son, he 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 likes to eat uh, greens like me. My other son, he like potatoes. Hey, let's get it. Bake some potatoes and let's make us some greens. So you, you, it's, you don't have to, give up a lot of things even if you didn't want to give up some stuff you just need to at least need to cut way back on your consumption level and balance it out with some type of movement or exercise or supplements and speaking of supp supplements right now sea moss is a big deal like everybody's crack uh, on a sea moss craze do you want to jump in on that before i do I heard of the sea moss. I heard they had like little forms. I think I was seeing, watching some documentary. I think it was on like Nat Geo or, you know what I'm saying, Discovery Channel. But I seen that they had, they, they got real live sea moss, you know what I'm saying, farmers out there that real live yeah. be out there with the net. It's so, yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a paper in that. But that just shows you how we as a people is moving forward. Like, right. and you know what, you know what's crazy, G, is what's that? What's that? the healthcare system. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we see it, they force medication on medication on medication on medication. You know what I'm saying? They tell you with all the side effects. The side effects is worse than what you get, what you're trying to, what you're trying to cure for. And for real, you know what I'm like, and, for and, real, and for real, the most high already gave us what we need in these plants. We just been deterred right. from solutions. We think if it don't come from them in the bottle, it don't work. What about before they was before that stuff was invented? We got everything we need growing from the ground. Everything we need from the ground, G. Let, let's put it, let me put it to y'all like this. Let, 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 let's, now we gonna go deep because now I done got there. My temper, my temper done got there because I done got frustrated thinking about how we getting played. People are getting diabetes from consuming too much fast food or what they think is food. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm go back and build on something, two things that you said. One of the things you said was you watched a documentary on Nat Geo. I saw that one as well. For all those that's out there that got a little paper, that ain't scared of the water, all it take you is to buy a boat, <laughs> have $25,000, according to the documentary, $25,000 to get all your licenses and stuff set up. And you can go out and get you a crew, of course, you need to know how to do it and get you a group crew and you could go be a seaweed farmer and they bringing in 100 200,000 a year easy that's it big yeah, yeah. 
That's they're shit. getting that money, but you got to be out on that rough water now. You're taking a life risk, just like the crab dudes. But they swim, you know. <laughs> but get check check dig though. You taking a risk on that corner or trying to hit that make that phone jump too. Yeah, I'm so, just saying. This is, I definitely take my chances out there in that water for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Another for thing sure. I'm gonna build on. Another thing I'm gonna build on to is this. When it comes to CMOS, let's talk about some of the benefits for women. According to research, not me, according to the research that's, that have been done, go do it for yourself though, to confirm. It helped with your thyroid. It helped with your, di the, the, you know, your, your the digestive system. You need the proper bacteria in your gut to digest your food correctly. It helps with that. It's low carbs. It actually uh, isn't seen as a carb in your body. Um, so when your body consuming it, it's not using it as a carbohydrate. So it's like a super low carb food. It's, it's more of a super food than baby spinach, than kale. Like sea, seaweed has so many benefits. And guess what, y'all? The Chinese been living 80, 100 years like it ain't nothing. Guess why? Because it's the type of stuff they eat all the time. It's rice, man. Yeah. The, it's the rice, though. That's, that's, that's. And that That's tea, not, that green tea, they drink tea two, three, four tea, times yeah. a day. Yeah, that green tea. I tell you, that's all I eat. That's all me and baby eat all day. Build yeah. on a green tea. Tell them the benefits of the green tea. That green tea got so many antioxidants in it. Yeah. And you know what antioxidants is, it's a cancer fighter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely, if, you, if, if, if cancer running your family, that's definitely something you uh, will want to take it, you know what I'm saying, into your diet. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, this is stuff you can look up. You know what I'm saying? Once again, it's stuff you can look up. That's facts, you know. But um, fish, you know, you got things that's good for your heart. You know Omega what I'm saying? Omega-3. Um, benefit is B12. You know, that's, for a lot of y'all, that's that's something that, that basically, it can help you, you know what I'm saying, put on a little muscle. You know what I'm saying? B12 is definitely a, a, a muscle gainer by a little bit. But uh, it got it got so many benefits, you know. And this thing to understand also is that your body is capable of curing itself. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you able to, your body is able to cure itself. You can tell that when you cut, you get a little cut. You know what I'm saying? You see your shit scab up, and then it's it's it's, it's good as new. It ain't as good as new, but I mean, you know, you heal. You know what I'm saying? You regenerate. You heal. Yeah. But you. You you help this by incorporating the things that you need for your body to keep moving on. You know what I'm saying? Your water, 70%. Your body is made up of say what 70 for the 75% water, G. Mm-hmm. Roughly, yeah. 75, like I think it's about 75% water. That's something that you definitely need to keep in your body, keeping yourself hydrated. You keep yourself hydrated, makes your skin glow, you know what I'm saying? You know, your hair, you know what I'm saying, is 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 looking healthy. You know what I'm saying nails, skin is looking healthy, eyes looking healthy. Water is something important. It keeps you keeps you moist. It keeps you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where you need to be. Now, you know. Now, now, now building on water, y'all. I'm I'm gonna go in on you. Y'all know how I do. Yeah, go in, G. It's three, is 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 three main types of water that you're in contact with, whether you consuming or whether you washing with them or cooking with them. You basically mm -hmm. got tap water. You know what I'm saying? You got tap water and, and alternative to tap water. What do people say? Yeah, I want me some spring water. You got spring water. Then you also got filtered water, which also could have reverse osmosis. Now, let me get into this. Basically, what tap water is, is what's coming out the faucet, but is is rejuvenated water coming from whether it's uh, a stream or a river. And the municipalities or where you live in that is using that water to be put out to your house. Well, prior to it getting in your house, it's dirty. You got poop, pee, fish pee. It got bird dry. <laughs> it got all kinds yeah. of stuff in it, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they hitting it with bleach off top. So they hitting it with bleach off top that kills anything that's living. They hitting it with some charcoal. They also hitting it with some silver. Silver also naturally kills bacteria. They're also hitting it with uh, what they call reverse osmosis. So what they're doing is they're taking O3, which is oxygen three, 
And once they put that into the water, it assists with the taste and the, the, the longer lasting effects of that taste and the purity of the water. So it, it's actually drinkable, but the problem with tap water is you got the bleach in it. They add fluoride to it and fluoride. That's a whole nother video. They add fluoride to it oh, along yeah. with the minerals that's in it. it. It could have a high concentrated amount of minerals in it. So I really wouldn't recommend drinking tap water. And the thing is, they got so much bleach in it. If you shower in it, you're it's like a tad bit away from um, mustard gas because if you heat up um, chlorine to a certain point, it turns into mustard gas. So that's why sometimes when you take a hot shower for a long time with the door closed, you'll be like, it's hard to breathe. Yeah, that's what shit. That's because yeah. of them chemicals. That's like almost like mustard gas. See, a lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do. Right. Spring water. And I ain't gonna be long-winded, but spring water. You drink your spring water and, and you it's it's better than tap water, but spring water is a is coming from a natural source. By law, if they say a spring water, they really can't do nothing to it, but add uh do the reverse osmosis with it, which is adding O3 and a little bit of flavor. But it has to come from a natural source. And if you ever look at a bottle of spring water or a box or something with a picture on it, it has to match where they um, pulling the water from. If you're getting the water from a spring in Tennessee and it's in the woods, you can't have a picture of a mountain. You see what I'm saying? So, but spring water has a lot of minerals in it. And when you drink too much of it, you're gonna actually strip minerals from your body. So consuming too much spring water, according to research, can, be unhealthy. <laughs> so the <laughs> best, right, right, right. I'm just giving y'all some information. Do with it what you will. And the last thing is the, the type of water that I consume mostly is distilled water. Now, what is distilled water? Usually, if you go in the baby aisle, you will see kids' water. A lot of that is distilled because it's like the, almost the purest you could get. What distilled water is, even if you took tap water, spring water, or water from any type of source. What they do is they boil it, and as the water evaporates, they capture the vapors and they filter it back into regular water. So it leaves all the impurities and the sediments and the, the excess minerals here, and you just drink in pure water. So if you're gonna consume some water, I would personally say, um, I use distilled and I could definitely tell the difference. If you go, if you start drinking distilled and go back to spring, for me, it start hurting my stomach because of the excess minerals. Yeah, that's deep. That's, that's, stuff, they don't, that, that's stuff they don't tell you. But that's you what know? we're here for. That's what I'm here for. Just to, you know, that's off the top. That's stuff they don't tell you. You got me about to look at my water and see. Uh. <laughs> yeah. and, and a lot I'm of the times, a lot, of, a lot of things people don't know, like if you go out and get a chlorine tester, the water mm. that's coming out the faucet has more chlorine in that water than swimming pool water. Yeah, I bet. I used to sell, okay. I used to sell water filters. And one of the tests we would do is we would come in and test your water. And then if they had a pool, I loved it because I'd go in the back and get a cup of their swimming pool water, get two yeah. cups and I'd do the drop, the little yellow, the little droplets and it turn yellow. They house water be more yellow than a swimming pool. I say, this is what you washing in. This is what y'all consume, and this is what you cooking in. And they that's just like, oh man, how much that thing cost? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's deep. And that's what I said like, but that's the things that they they don't tell you. Yeah. I even heard it was some type of law that was in effect, and this is like you know saying through the F, you know saying you know through good money FDA FDA. Mm -hmm. That it's a, I guess when two companies, you know, when two com you know, two companies like you got Pepsi and Coca Cola, or you know, two brands that's you know what I'm saying battling each other as far as sales and revenue. Uh, I heard it's some type of law in this effect, and don't quote me on this, but it's basically they don't have to reveal all the chemicals that they put in a product just for the simple fact is. They could say, I guess, in court or whatever, or argue the fact that with they, I guess, they rivals, it could pose, I guess, you know, yeah. what I'm saying they rivals taking a 
what I'm saying? Taking their ingredients or whatever the yeah. case may be. So when you look at the nutrition facts, you know, you'd be seeing stuff, and this usually be common sense. You will be seeing stuff on the nutrition facts, and it'd probably be about five ingredients. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> like see, like carbohydrates, they her head niacin. Calorie calorie intakes, but you look on the side and you know not like on the ingredients, it not you do get some that be lengthy, right. you know. But you be wondering, like you be shit like Xanophane and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like with two X's and shit like that, like and stuff like that. So you be looking, you be like, but we don't ever look that stuff up though. Like I it's I do, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a nerd, so I do. <laughs> yeah, I looks it up. I ain't gonna lie, you know Skittles, right? You know Skittles the candy, you know what I'm saying? Everybody likes Skittles, you know what I'm saying? Majority of everybody, but you know the food coloring on Skittles, it's a beetle that and the beetle name is actually on the packet. It's called I can't think of the name of it. You have to look at it and you have to if you that curious to find out, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you know what I'm saying, copy bag of Skittles. Look on the back, look at the ingredients, and type in every name. Cause I can't remember what the name of the beetle is, mm -hmm. but it's a beetle that they basically, you know, crush down, add whatever they add to it, and this is how they make their food coloring on Skittles. Yeah, yeah. And this is real talk. Like yeah. this is look this up. You know what I'm saying? Like it's but this stuff that, like I say, I don't know if that's you know. So I'm just you know even I don't. Probably eating the beetle, you know what I'm saying? The beetle being, you know what I'm saying, part of the- That's true. That might be more company. healthier than the other, the sugar. That right, right. Healthy. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sitting here saying that that, that poses a health risk. I don't know. But uh, Man, look it's it just up. the simple fact that look it up, you know, it look it up. But like going back to that law, like I said, it was, I heard that or I read that it's a certain law in effect, I guess, that two companies don't have to reveal everything that's put into their product. Yeah. And that's that that to me, that's 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 messed up because we as a people, you know what I'm saying, we deserve to know everything that's in this product if we paying our money for our hard earned money right. and we put it in the body. But you know see that but see that goes the caveat on tour, you know what I'm saying? Caveat on tour, which means buyer beware. Uh -huh. Basically, as long as they follow the law that's in place, you know, companies are gonna do the minimum. It's up to us. And that's right. why we here to try to help to do the research because how much how much of your life is ignorance causing? I mean, causing you like not knowing or not researching. It's to a point now you ain't even got to read. Just press a button and listen. If you got a question, like um, when it when it comes to food, y'all. If it, I'm gonna I'm try to break this down in a simple form, as simplest as I could get it. Stop looking at your, well, let me, let me pull it back. It would be wise not to look at, I can't tell you what to do. It would be wise to not look at yourself outside of nature. What do I mean by that? You got lions, you got tigers, you got birds, you got fish, and you have you. They need the sun, we need the sun. Mm -hmm. They need carbohydrates and, and protein. We do too. They need sunlight. We need sunlight. Everything that they need to survive, they already, the, the universe and the planet has already provided to them. Everything we need to survive when it comes to food, the universe provides it, whether it's an animal or plants. All this extra cakey and all this extra doughy and all this extra sugary type of stuff is not a necessity y'all sure. and if it's not and what what if what will happen if we start giving elephants and lions candy bars that's slow they're gonna start getting sick so why do we think we could just keep consuming it and not have some type of ill effect if you look on the back of a soda can and, you know, being from Cincinnati, a pop can, not one in particular, half of it is sugar. Half. Sure. Oh, that's all that's in there. And carbs. You got too much sugar, too much carbs. Your body produced too much insulin. That's how, quote unquote, according to research, how diabetes can occur because you have a, a super imbalance 
of sugar and carbs and you ain't burning it off. You know, people are, like you said, are starting to exercise more. But if you if you consuming more negative foods over how much you exercise, you know, problems could still occur. But you, you know, and, and, and elaborate on that, you remember, you know, the term dope, right? Mm -hmm. You know, with like dope comf is, is short for dopamine. Yeah, dopamine. And dopamine is a natural chemical or natural hormone that's in your brain. Yeah. that basically triggers you it's a feel good it's a feel reward. good uh reward system yes yeah, a feel good reward basically anything that feels good to your body when you happy or you know anything that tastes good to your body dope your dopamine levels go up right so for those you don't know you know when you smoke weed you know what i'm saying whatever you do on the other side outside of weed you know what i'm saying i'm for weed you know what I'm saying? But I doubt nobody or nothing like that, but. <laughs> you got your own life. You know what I'm saying? But anything, anything. Your life. You only get one. You only get one. But, but make good choices, else. though. Make good choices. Yeah, yeah, right. If it make you feel good, when you if, you, if it make you feel good or whatever you eat, if it tastes good and you get excited about it or whatnot, that's that dopamine levels going up. Right. But, even like you said, like when you smoke weed, I'm gonna use weed for example, because obviously it's the only drug I've done. But when you smoke weed, when you high, your dopamine levels go up. THC causes your dopamine levels to go up in your brain. And that's why, you know, sometimes some of us may feel that it's hard for us to stop smoking, even if you got to pass a, a, a drug test for a job or whatever the case may be. But we feel like, and I've been, I've gone through this too, but we make it, we, we, it, it seems like it's so hard for us to start smoking because once we, that highs wear off, you know, you, you feel tired, you know what I'm saying? You sluggish, you kind of, you ain't as happy as you was when you was high, you know? And your body, especially if you smoke on a regular, your body becomes so used to this dopamine levels being rose above its actual levels that once you stop, now you feel like you need that. You know, say so you need that same thing that you was using to get your your, your brain ain't dumb. You know, what I'm saying your brain notices behaviors and notices things that it could get a feel good off of before you even really notice. Like, damn, like I'm over here just keep doing this and don't. You know, what I'm saying like it feel good, but it's like, is this you know, is this the best thing? You know what I'm saying or it tastes good, and I'm, it's like, is this the best thing for me? See, you know? that, let me build on that. Now, now you're gonna have me go a little deep. <laughs> I've been trying, I've been trying to just keep it surface because talking about yeah. food. But on this one, see, we dealing first of all, you know what I'm saying? We dealing with something that the universe gave us. If the universe give it to us, it's not on a mistake. Oh no, you talking about we? Yeah. Oh, so, no, no, no. About that. No, no, no. Let, let me, let me, let me just, let me tap in. I know you're going, I know you're going to piggyback on this. I already know. Cause we go now. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's quit holding back. Let's just go. Let's go. All right. So the thing is, it's, it was given from the universe y'all. No matter what law is in place, it was still given. Why? Because it could grow naturally. You know what I'm saying? Natural seeds, natural sunlight and natural water is going to grow naturally. Just because somebody or some entity in one country says it's illegal doesn't make it bad. Because what if it's illegal here, but it's always been legal over there? Now, that's number one. Number two, number two. And they just now figuring out, oh, we can make a profit. So it's legal. But anyway, that's another thing. <laughs> we, that's hey, a whole other thing. We're yeah. talking about the health hey. aspect. Yeah. When you, I'm going and I don't care. That's what this is for. We building. When you consume, marijuana or cannabis or sativa or indica when you consume that or when you intertwine or when you share when you share in the personality of a plant by lighting it and changing the chemical aspects of you and the body now when you and your girl make love that's a different feeling from not making love when y'all make love it's a bond right you feel that high energy. You feel that 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 warmth. You feel that oneness of when y'all are doing that, right? Well, when you smoke weed, it's the same thing. 
the the plant's personality and the plant's essence is what it is. That's why when you smoke indica, it makes you low. When you smoke sativa, it makes you high and it makes you psychoactively think a little different. That's the personality of that plant. Mm -hmm. And when you as a physical being, but technically spiritual, mingle with the spiritual aspect of the plant and y'all intertwine and make love, that's the euphoric feeling that you become addicted to. The same way you become a quote unquote addicted in a positive manner to your girl or your wife or your dude is the same way you intertwine and become addicted. You become one with the essence of that God or universal given flower. Opens the my eyes up. As open that eye right here up. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. And that's why when you when you smoke, that's why you lose track of time. Why? Because you're not in the physical body at the moment. You actually in your real self, your spiritual self. That's why you lose track of physical time. That's why is I don't even want to go all the way in, but <laughs> yeah, nah, go ahead. Man. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go. If you ever took a nap and it felt like you were asleep for two, like a like eight hours, it could only be 10, 15 minutes. That's because in the spiritual world, time quote unquote doesn't exist the same way it exists in the physical world. So when you smoke, that's why you lose track of time because you're so enthused and involved in that spiritual world, you lose track of time in the physical. So technically, you like enter in between. And when it wear off, you like, man, I don't want to be in this physical world because you you realizing what's really what it really is. Man-made pressure, man-made obligations to make you have to have a job. Why? Because you can't eat, because you can't work. I mean, because you don't have a place to live. You got to physically go out and do something. They putting stuff on TV for you to keep you stressed out or worry or buy a new car. I need a new car. What's wrong with your old one? Nothing, I just want a new one. See, they got us in the consumerism versus being one with nature and being within ourselves. And when you sit back and meditate or in, 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 indulge with the essence from the earth, whether it's tea, whether it's marijuana, whether it's wine, notice I didn't say just liquor, wine, you know what I'm saying? That's why you it, it's a, such a relaxing place because you're using it how it should be used. Now, when you abuse it, it's a different effect. Mm. So I'm gonna turn it over to you. My bad for being so long-winded. <laughs> you deep on that. <laughs> you just feel deep on that. Uh right. Uh, no, that's peace. That's peace because yeah. thanks. Trying to come into time with your body, come on with your body. Yeah, it gets you there yeah, if you use it like that. And that kind of makes you think like, do the government know, like they know this. They yeah. know that. They know that. They know that. They know that open up, that open up your mind, that free your mind, that make you forget about all that BS. You know what I'm saying? And that minutes of you being on your upper level of thinking. Like you realize, I, I bet I guarantee you, people that came up with some real life, the stuff that we see in the day, I guarantee you they done smoked the joint before they came up with that idea. God, I go ahead. I guarantee you. Yeah. Open, they, open that flood gate up, man. They, they say they oh, say was high when he was painting the Sistine Chapels. Hey, I bet he was. I know he was. No, I ain't that dude in my life. <laughs> you know, you gotta know. be high to look up and say, I want to do be way up there painting. You gotta be <laughs> on something else. You know what I mean? For real, because that stuff just it makes you think like you know. I mean, like I know when I, you know, saying was smoking, you know, it used to just have me in that zone, you know what I'm saying? You get that pen and paper out. And you'll get that phone now, just be researching, coming up with business ideas. You know what I'm saying? Coming up with ideas to better your finances. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just coming up with just different things, you know what I'm saying? The the better yourself, you know, because it just gets you in that, it just gets you in that up move. You I know, mean, you think about some shit that, that you ain't even know you even had to, you know what I'm saying? Man. You know what I'm saying? That you even know that you that they think about things that you ain't even know you could think of. Right. And that's, that's real. That's why they call it quote unquote medicine now. But we we as as African Africans and African Americans, we been, I'm gonna say black people, we been knew that because 
first of all, it compromised. We was the first people here, so we had to be the first people growing it. That's number one. So it's already innocent instincts. But number two, me being from where I'm from and some of the things I partaked in the activity when I was a young tyke, um, I would visit people a lot. You know what I'm saying? Making rounds. And that was one thing, the, or in some cases, one of the two things, whether it was beer or MD 2020 or something like that, along with the marijuana that assisted them with dealing with the stress of being in poverty. It's, we was a coping mechanism. We was medication. We was all these broke people coming outside, but everybody in the circle passing the joint. Everybody talking about the same subject, unity. Everybody kicking it, everybody building, and everybody on the same level. You see what I'm saying? I remember the boys used to roll through and break that up. See, it's more systematic and, and, and um, I don't wanna say psychotic, but it was systematically, the system back in the 90s was systematically designed to keep us under pressure. We had horses, bro. We had horses come through like the slave masters. Coming through the hood like this, bro. And we, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back then, they ain't shoot you in the back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I remember I go to one side of the hood, they'd be in a circle. The other side of the hood, they'd be in a circle. And, and the marijuana really... People could have beef, but they pass in the joint. The marijuana really was like the peace pipe, like the Indians. Exactly what it was. Yeah. That's exactly what yeah. it was. Mm-hmm. I wanna um I wanna switch gears to it like a we talk about food. I know you could get in on this. What's that? This is a true story. I work with this dude, right? And he had some heinous charges. He did 25 straight, like boom, 25 years straight. He had a life sentence, but he did 25 straight. And, you know, he had to do what he had to do when he was in there. So I ain't gonna knock him. It's a different world, you know. So I can't, I'm not gonna knock nothing he did out here because in there's different rules that apply. You know what I'm saying? And when he was in there, um, he was telling me that he went on a hunger strike. And the reason he went on a hunger and a hygiene strike was because of the food that they had in the joint. Basically, they was feeding him slop. And by him doing that, they actually changed some of the stuff on the menu. But what's crazy, man, is he did that 25-year bit, and he was out less than a year and died of cancer, bro. Man. That's deep. When he yeah, got out, they, they shocked him out. When he got out, he lived less than one year because of cancer, because of the food that they were serving him in there. Crazy. Yeah, that food, man, in there is like, if, hey, any of y'all that got people that's locked up, man, if they call y'all, you know, even if they don't call y'all, man, food boxes, you know what I'm saying, definitely is good looking out, you know what I'm saying, keep money on the books when you can. You know, guys there be grateful with twenty dollars on the books. You know, what I'm saying like, <laughs> for real talk, like that food in there ain't it ain't what's up. Like only if you if you ain't been there, you know, what I'm saying just you know for real that food like you you get the the least of the least when it comes to the proper meals, right? You know, the process. You know, just it's it ain't where it's at, man. Like I said, I don't wish that on nobody. Cause right, and it's crazy. I, and there, yeah, and there I got used to just eating, just like child like that. It just come a time when you just be like eating out your box is basically the healthiest way you gonna go, for real. And even that ain't cool because you constantly eat noodles, you know, chips, yeah. you know, carbs, like, sugar, salt. Yeah, you. I mean, so it's like. You know, that ain't, yeah, for sure. You got people that's in there and they call it, or you know what I'm saying, you got a little extra money, you got them stimmies, you know what I'm saying, and, and if you could afford to do it, just, you know what I'm saying, shoot a few dollars, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely good looking now. Right. You know, I remember when I visit my people up there, man, um, and 
I asked them did they want something because you know they had the machine up there. Man, they ate chicken wings, they ate a hamburger, they they ate um, like seven, maybe. eight different things. I'm like, how'd you where'd you put that food at? Because he was like, Man, this food in here is so terrible, man. Terrible. It's terrible. Like you would get out here and I done got tired of the fast food out here. Like, I done got tired of that. I don't eat fast food at all. And, you know what I'm saying? You, you would be like, man, it's like steak. You feel me? <laughs> like, <laughs> right. like, it's, it's steak because it's like, literally, you eat it. Like, people don't be, like, people, people don't be lying. That's slop. Like, that stuff, you wouldn't even get your dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, you won't even feed your dog because I don't even feed my dog that. You know what I'm saying? We go to the grocery store, we get my dog, you know what I'm saying, some good stuff. You know, he don't eat dry food. He eat, right. he eat that, right. you know what I'm saying, the stuff that come in on the rolls. You know what I'm saying? It's called fresh something. Right. You know? And the but, thing is, some people feed their dog better than they feed their kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like not you, but people giving their dog all this wholesome stuff with vitamins and the things yeah. that it need for the right frame. You giving yeah. your kids slop and you ain't even giving them their vitamins every day. Yeah. You know oh, what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta be better at that. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, that food, man, like that's why when I got out, even in there, I was practicing a healthy way of eating because like I said, my whole time down, you know, seven years. I didn't eat beef or pork. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Yeah, I didn't eat beef or pork. That's good. You know, especially once I got the real knowledge. Like I, my mom's never really cook, was big on cooking pork. You know, yeah. she cooked a lot of chicken. You know what I'm saying? She did bake. So right. I said she didn't do a lot of deep frying. She really did hardly, yeah, barely any deep frying. She do baked chicken. Right. You know what I'm saying? If it was beef, it'd be like a roast, roast beef or something like that. Right. But that was like, that would not know every day or every week. And she went big on fast food, you know. Say so it was mostly chicken and fish that she that right. she cooked a lot of when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. So that went no problem with stop eating pork. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. beef, I was eating beef when you know what I'm saying when I was younger. You know what I'm saying burgers and stuff like that. But once I start sitting down and reading the knowledge on you know what I'm saying cows, pigs, you know what I'm saying and shit, fish and chicken. You know what I'm saying? All, all these mass produced animals. Yeah. It started becoming clear, like, yo, this ain't nah. yeah, this ain't nah. it either. Ain't like, it. you know, like my body, like, my body, if I try to eat pork, I get sick. Like I have to force my body to eat it if I'm gonna eat it. I literally get sick. Beef hurt my stomach. So it's like I I'm a lot, I ain't like I said, I have a nice little steak once or twice a month, only because of the taste. It ain't gonna be no big giant steak, it's probably gonna be like a little small. Just something, and I'm a, I'm a, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna work that off anyway, but the amount, like especially red, if you do the research, especially red meat, like he's talking about, that stuff causes a lot of ailments in the body, which means we don't naturally supposed to eat that or consume it at the levels that we are. Nah, not at all. You know, so let's get into some positivity. Then we gonna end. Let's talk about what we should eat. So outside of chicken, outside of fish, what about fruits and what about fruits? What about um what are some other alternatives, would you say? I say apples. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Apples definitely, you know what I'm saying? That's something that helps scrape out your intestines and you know, help clean you out, keep you regular, you got that fiber, rich in fiber and, right. and water. You know what I'm saying? I say bananas, you know what I'm saying? High potassium, keep them cramps out your legs, you know what I'm saying? If you're athletic or whatever. You know, bananas definitely is the route to go. Uh, and, you know, I eat it. I like to eat grapes, oranges, vitamin C. You know, you need that vitamin C. You know what I'm saying? Fight colds, all that. So I say things like that, especially your citrus fruits, a lot of the citrus fruits, a lot of the fruits. Vegetables, I say mostly, and I, ain't, I don't eat all uh, vegetables. Most vegetables, the only vegetables I really eat is asparagus and broccoli. And that's that's it. You know, say so I eat greens. You know, say so all black people eat greens. <laughs> but you know, say so I eat, I eat some greens. You if know. you put pork in it, though, I'm not eating them. Sorry, you gotta have the turkey tails in it. What's that? You know how some people could put pork in their greens? Oh no, no, no! You gotta, you gotta, gotta have, have turkey, turkey tails. 
they already know they be having a pot folk, uh, my own separate pot and everything when, yeah. they, when the family get together. Like, for yeah. sure, for sure. They, yeah, I'm, you know, I don't mess with the pork or the right. beef. But yeah, turkey, it's turkey tails in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's live. You know what I'm saying? It's good and, it, yeah. and it's healthy. You yeah. know? Definitely. And like for me, like, like my my choices of vegetables are a little different. I, I pop mm -hmm. pickles like people pop peels. Like pickles is my go-to. Cucumbers, pickles. I like squash. You know what I'm saying? I eat beets. Beets off the chain. There's so many health benefits, especially for your girl. You know what I'm saying? Check, do the research on beets. I'm going to do the I ain't never uh, had them. Bro. Green peppers, jalapeno peppers. I eat, I'm, I'm more, since, you know what I'm saying, my, you know, my lineage from my granddaddy is Jamaican. So I eat a lot of Jamaican type of vegetables. Like I like hot, spicy curry. I like the, I like hot type of food. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hot type of spicy type. I take, I go get some ghost peppers or some habaneros and just be popping them. You know what I'm saying? Mouth burning, but I love it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just popping habaneros, popping ghost peppers. Um, I, I don't really like olives raw, but I eat them on a salad. When, and as far as salad, let me let me school you a little bit about salad. If yeah. you're gonna get a salad, there's nothing wrong with regular lettuce, but all really all lettuce really is is water. Lettuce is just you consuming water inside of a vegetable. If you mm -hmm. if you want some type of greenery in your vegetables, you look better getting like spinach, baby spinach, um, anything like kale. Those have more vitamin benefits versus just lettuce. So, mm -hmm. you know, with your salad, you want definitely some tomatoes in there if you're not allergic, uh, onions, uh, definitely throw some garlic. Now, garlic, let me tell you all about garlic. I eat garlic daily. Why? Because yeah. garlic yeah. is a natural antibiotic. Yeah, garlic good for you. Garlic helps you not be sick. It's like maintenance. It's like changing your oil daily. If you eating your garlic, it's basically giving your body what it needs. It's like, like I said, look it up. It's a natural antibiotic. And guess who mm -hmm. eats a lot of garlic? Oriental people. They have garlic in their diet. They eat the raw garlic though, not the the spread, the powdery kind, which is still good. It's just ground up and dried. But they eat actual garlic. So for us, I'm not saying stop what you're doing and be miserable, but what I am saying is make better choices over bad choices. Get you some exercise, drink you some green tea. The green tea helps with the free radicals. What are free radicals? When you breathe this polluted air, the chemtrails you see in the sky, we breathing that in once it hit. We breathing that in. It builds free radicals in our body which is like rust inside of our body in our arteries and stuff. When you drink green tea, you, you, you cleaning that stuff out. When you exercise those deep breaths, cleaning those cells, that's cleaning those free radicals out. So the foods that you eat can actually heal you and you won't be going to the doctor needing no pills. Yeah, so you go, ahead. Away from go ahead. Stay from the maid, stay away from the pills if you can. For sure. Like I said, your body is able to, to heal itself. Yeah. Now, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know that. And, if the, and they have prescribed you with some shit that you don't even need for real. You know? Yeah, the doctor prescribed. And this, this was crazy, G. And I'm probably overthought this situation too much because I'm, I'm, I am an overthinker. I admit good. that. Good. That's good. Yeah. Like a, a month ago, not even a month, probably a few weeks ago, I had problems with my breathing. My asthma started kicking back in. It kicked back in actually on a Sunday night. You know, I started on a Saturday with me coughing. On Sunday, I couldn't breathe. Like I'm talking about, I'm laying down. You know, I probably didn't go to bed till like three in the morning. I had to wake up at six for work, but I couldn't breathe. So Saturday, I mean, so Monday, uh, I go to work. I said, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I said, forget it. I went to work anyway. I'm just going, you know what I'm saying? Thug it out. So I get to work. Nine o'clock break come, I'm still having a hard time because I work in a big, I work in a, a, big, a big stadium that's getting built downtown, mm -hmm. a soccer stadium, SC Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of walking around that you got to do throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? Through a 10 hour day, you're doing a lot of walk, uh, walking. 
So right. I'm out of breath. Like normally before this, I was saying I was cool. I could do this with ease because I'm used to it, you know. But um, on this particular day, I'm out of breath. I'm talking about soon I'm starting to walk up the street, uh, up the steps. I'm out of breath. Mm. So I go. I say I call my mama. I say, you know, so I'm telling her the problems or whatever. She like, boy. She like, boy. You probably got COVID. So I'm like, <laughs> I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to be negative. Like COVID. She was like, boy, you probably got COVID. <laughs> so go to the doctor. She needs. She's like, look, look, look. She talking about you need to go to the hospital. Right. So I'm like, nah, well, I'm good. Like I know I ain't got COVID. Right. Like I just know. Like I still got my taste. You know what I'm saying? I can still smell good right. and all that. Right. I just I keep coughing. You know what I'm saying? Like and I can't breathe. So long story short, I go to the hospital. Uh, they uh, they run chest x-rays, listen to my breathing with a uh, thing that they listen to with. Mm -hmm. And uh, she basically, they end up telling me that it was my asthma coming back, which I kind of figured it was. So they gave me an inhaler and they uh, prescribed me some type of pills. Now the pills is what I was really getting to. Uh, it was some type of steroid pill. I guess it's supposed to help with your bronchial tubes yeah, or whatever. Abuterol got it in it too. Abuterol got steroids in it too. That's the asthma. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I don't like taking it. You know what I'm saying? But for that few, for them few days, nobody I had that. You need it. Yeah, I knew I needed that because I had it as a kid. So I'm like, all right, I know I need this. But the pills, I can't think of the name of them. Start with a P. You know, I read, you know, so I read everything. On, you know, saying on everything, you know, that's just that overthinking in me. So when I get pills, especially when they, they describe they prescribe for me, I'm gonna read, I wanna know what it's gonna cause. You know, I wanna know what's the warning effects and all that. Mm -hmm. So no lie, I'm reading the pills and it say, it may lower your chances of fighting diseases. Stay away from sick, stay away from sickly crowds. No oh, lie, can't make this up. Oh my God. So I, my, Look, G, look, look. So I'm sitting there like, dang, it's COVID. Why would I pop these pills? Like, y'all basically, like, y'all, for one, you know, y'all know where I work at. It's the I'm around hundreds of people. Every, it's the setup. You know, so I work at. And then on top of that, come on, now you're telling me I got to stay away from sickly people? I, I know they said everybody could be sick. Like, anybody right. do. Right. Who's standing in the elevator could be sick. I don't right. know. Right. You feel me? Yeah. So, I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, I ain't taking these pills. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? They got me, they they threw. Like, I tell baby, like, and nah, I ain't taking these pills. So I end up going for a follow-up at the uh, at my own, like, at my actual doctor, my primary doctor. Yeah. And he, like, uh, so he asked me, because I told the nurse probably that, like, yeah, but she asked me about the medication I got. I told her, like, nah, I ain't take, I ain't take the, uh, the pills. So right. the doctor come in, he, like, uh, you know, I heard she told me you want to take your pills. So I'm like, nah, I'm not taking no pills. You telling me I got to stay away from sick, sick crowds. Yeah. And the more the story is, is and I'm not telling you nobody out there like you prescribe medication and if you need it, you know what I'm you're a grown individual for one. But if you feel like you, that's, I mean, if the doctor said you need it, you know, that's your decision. And I said, it, obviously that's your decision. That's all I'm going to leave it at. But me, my body, I felt like, nah, I'm not taking nothing that's going to, you know, lower my chances of fighting a disease out here. And you're telling me to stay away from sick crowds, but you feel me like. Yeah. And and the thing is, I'm not downgrading no physicians, no doctors, none of that. No, 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 um, no, no. But I got, I got people close to me that work in the medical field. And, mm -hmm. and, and basically they, they're, they're taught to prescribe. Mm -hmm. So before we end, you wanted to talk a little bit about alcohol. Go ahead and hit them with a little bit of, about alcohol. See, when you talk about alcohol, it's crazy because we're going to talk about alcohol, then we're going to go back to talking about weed, the weed aspect. Because you could get two, 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 two brothers on the block that's beefing a joint. They're going to talk, they're going to they gonna squash their whole, they whole thing. You feel me? they talk it over, smoke, you know what I'm saying? Squash it, boom, we cool. But you give them a bottle, they're ready to kill each other. Yeah. But why is alcohol legalized? You know, yeah. Why is that legalized? That's right. the biggest question. Why is that legalized? But y'all making it so hard to legalize marijuana when you could, you could. I mean, people don't lose their homes. People don't lose their families over alcohol. I mean, people. I mean, excuse me, excuse marijuana. me, excuse me. People don't lose their families. Don't lose their jobs. They don't lose their life 
over no weed. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I when we talking about that. But when you cross over to alcohol, people people lose their jobs, people lose their they, they family, you mm. know what I'm saying? People lose they self. They do. And lose it's, they, it's they yeah, it's proven to, and I'm not nuts, just look it up. Look it up on your own. Type in mm -hmm. alcohol causes demon possessions. Just type that in if you think I'm capping. When you consume alcohol, it's been proven mm -hmm. that you're lowering your frequency to a point where you could become demonically possessed. When I say demonically possessed, I'm not talking in the realm of <laughs> a demon. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is you're allowing yourself to tap into the negative aspects of your spirit that's going to make you do heinous acts. Mm -hmm. So you're tapping into the negative or you're tap you or tapping or can be tapping into the animalistic side of yourself, which we call demon or demonic side or uh, beastly side of yourself, animalistic side of yourself. Let's just put it that way. Um, versus not consuming alcohol. That's why I don't drink because back in the day when I used to drink, it's it's time, it's go time. <laughs> Ain't, you <talk> <coughs> Ain't you talking about something that's that ain't even natural. You know what I'm saying? That goes through a whole process of its own versus marijuana. Aging, distill, the hops and all that. That's why I say wine, you know. Consuming too much wine could get you there, but you probably fall asleep before you start fighting with wine. Liquor, tequila, now tequila. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> tequila yeah. can be aphrodisiac as well. You know what? We need to do a whole nother video on alcohol. Yeah. We're going to do a whole nother video. That's all y'all getting. That's all y'all getting right now because that's a whole nother bill. Is there anything else you want to add before we get out of here? Nah, G, that's it. All no. Right. But we appreciate y'all that built with us. You know, we appreciate y'all. If you got questions or you want us to build on some, some certain subjects, just throw a comment down there. Don't be shy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We listen. Really? Um, we just trying to help you. Just let us know what you need. Um, if you don't need to be helped, that's fine too. And you just want to be entertained. That We cool with that too. But that being said, that's all I got. You got anything else? Nah, G, just, you know, everybody keep doing what they're doing out there as far as building themselves up, man. Positivity. Like right. I said before, keep going. Doing mind, body, life. and soul. You only get one of these in this lifetime, you know what I'm saying, in this particular body. We don't know what's after, but right now, if you can hear this, this is yours. You better take care of this. Yeah, you the only part, You've been responsible for this. You better take care of it. Yeah, yeah one shot when it comes to this. That's it. There it is. When the when the director yells "cut" and the your time is up, your time is credits. up. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Ain't no respawn. Ain't no respawn. So on, in this ain't, body, in this body, ain't no respawn. Ain't no rewind button neither. So right. So that being said, that's all I got. Till next time, y'all. These. Peace. Peace.